PGA Tour. So proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today from Olympia Fields just outside Chicago, live final round coverage of the BMW Championship. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday week board. We've got a tie at the top. Included among them is the golfer we'll be watching as this should prove to be a compelling round of golf. What's going on, Nick? Welcome. Just started playing. I was wondering when I get upgraded clubs. So, William, how the clubs work? Um... What I'd recommend, I mean, you can always go sponsor challenges and stuff, and you can unlock. I haven't done a, really any of those, but I'm pretty sure you can unlock either a tire or clubs or maybe both. Um, let's see here. But you go to the store, and then you can get, you know, the brands and everything like that, the different types of clubs, but that's all strictly cosmetics. What upgrades your clubs is what you get specs. The specs will apply attributes and skills to your clubs. Ball specs, club specs, iron specs, driver, wedge, all sorts of different stuff. You can buy those. You get those with reward points. And how you get the reward points is like doing like the challenge. Yeah, that thing do jack squat. I knew that was going to happen. Well, those first two shots haven't taken full advantage of this par five, but uh, no, he has but if you can just imagine like a 25 foot but then of course the attributes that you get your skills up with those also you know matter on how well you play but at the store if you get like a tailor made or a titleist it's just strictly cosmetic the specs are what gets you the skills to the clubs Well, we all, I mean, we all don't start off good. It's all, what I would recommend that you do is, because uh, I started with all the settings on and the help, the previews, and slowly took everything away as I would study how the wind would affect the ball, study how the, the lines here would affect how much the, the, the pr putt preview breaks. And then, you know, when I started taking the pr uh, previews off and then the putt preview, I still left the, the distance for me. But yeah, it's a lot of repetitions. I would highly suggest doing the featured challenges. Because that gets a lot of repetition in very situational golf. Like short game chips. And you really get honed in on the short game. Which is so, so, so crucial in this game. As you can tell, I'm not doing very well with my approaches and stuff like that. But I've still got the lead. Well, part of the lead. William, I appreciate the follow. Epic, legendary. Oh, yeah. And then when you win tournaments and everything, like, like what I highly, highly, because it's different shots, you know, and I can't say enough about doing the challenges just to get the repetition with the different shot types, the short game, the approach, because you have to get it within, like, you get five shots, and you have to get, like, three of them within seven foot, you know, two of them within five foot. You know, you've got to, it's repetition. Then if you know you're not going to get the goals, you restart it. Whatever you, whatever the three goals you hit and met, they keep. And then you just keep trying for the last one. And once you get it, you unlock the reward points. And then that can help you unlock some specs and everything. And Absolutely, William. Always here to help and answer questions. And then what I've heard, the Hideki Matsuyama iron specs are like the gold standard. I have been wanting to get those since I've started. They have not been available ever. And I'm pretty sure my guy is probably like better than what the specs are. I'm still waiting to see. I'm, so I'm still holding on to 18,000 reward points <laughs> to see what it does. But I think I've outskilled myself to it, to be honest with you. So it might not even matter at this point, which if that's the case, then great, we can just buy more clothes. 
Get more clubs. What's going on, Mitch? Yeah, back on golf. Yep, for tonight. Playing the BMW Championship like they're playing right now. Just so happens we're there. That's the tournament we're on. The hole is comprised of three segments. Tee shots should wind up in the second segment, leading to an uphill carry over Butterfield Creek to a somewhat small and tilted green. Corbin, we doing good. How about yourself? And hello, who's? Yeah, Mitch, we're doing good tonight. Always glad to have you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Carry it, wind. Carry it, wind. What do you got there, little man? <laughs> He's proud of himself. He's got some prey in the form of a toy. He's killing it now. He's getting it now. Uh, Corbin, it's always going to be in the mix. It's just what day are we going to do it? Yeah, we might be kind of pushing WWE down a little bit and getting to more of a two-game rotation right now just because that one's just not really pulling in any viewership at all. I mean, it's fun, but it just, on TikTok, I mean, it does good on YouTube. I mean, we got to play it, too, for YouTube. It does fairly well on YouTube. But, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it does okay, but, yeah, it's... But yeah, golf's back in the mix today. We've got the BMW going right now. They got the BMW going out there. Yeah, Corbin, we're back on golf. Oh, I already said that again. Never mind. I already addressed that. Uh, online, I, I play, like, private. I'll play private matches. I've done some online tournaments, but I haven't specifically played anything much more than that, where you play, like, the four holes and it just registers for the day. We've kind of been just been focusing on the career so mode. The here at the fourth. For now, we're we're about to finish up our first year. Mitch, I appreciate those likes. Ah, don't be running away from the hole like that. No. Stop it. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss it, the middle of the club? One foot. By a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. Big Bird, this is EA PGA 23, Road to the Masters. Welcome. Glad to have you. We are currently playing the BMW Championship, as they are out there. We are in here. 
Just so happens to work out that way. Now to the fifth, it is a fourth consecutive par four. This one measuring at 417 yards. Uh, Corbin, I don't. I wish I played more, but this is kind of taking over like Saturday mornings when I do tend to play or would play, but also kind of what's happened. I mean, like, like these courses, I like to get out there early, like first in the first tee times and stuff are just always taken. I can't get into anything, and I ain't trying to wait around to play. I'm really fine. I'm going to get up, work out, get my whatever I want done. Like golf, preferably early, early, early. So, yeah, because of that, I haven't played too much at all. Work on the problem solving. Well the yeah, oh yeah, there's a there's a whole lot of figuring out what the hell we're gonna do physics wise. Biomechanics with the body. Let's see here. Pull it back over. Brady, I appreciate those likes. Thank you, Brady. On to the sixth tier on this north course, and finally, it's the first of our four par threes, checking in at 187 yards. This hole is much more out in the open than the previous six, but that also means that winds can sometimes play a bigger role here. What's going on, Joe? It's going good. How are you? How is your Thursday getting ready to be Friday looking? We go to Iona Steven. Well, there is a slope that you need to take into consideration. It's going to break down the slope a little from right to left. Not an easy one. See, Mitch, I do not. I did, I did a, like, I always finish middle of the pack. It was, like, always, like, if it was 12 team, I finished sixth. If it was five, ten teams, I finished fifth. It was just, <laughs> and I don't follow, I mean, I love, I mean, love watching football, but I just do not follow it enough to really be very effective at any sort of fantasy football. I'm not following who's really getting drafted, who's in the, you know, what depth chart, you know, who's now, I don't, I just don't. Malach, birdies it is. Thank you, drummer. We're trying. Mitch, I appreciate those likes. Keep the good vibes coming so we can pull this dub out of the, out of the, uh, out of our bag of tricks here, because we, I mean, just finally got the lead. Call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. Oh, 
going to remain two shots long par threes are becoming more in vogue in professional golf we saw some long ones at the 2023 u.s open at the los angeles country club and we find another here at the 251 yard eight hole the green slopes Jeez. from back left to front right and is fronted by a quartet of bunkers Nope. Nothing. Man, that's tough. That's quite the par three if you're pulling out a freaking driver for it. That's insane. <laughs> that is quite impressive. Ah, Horrible. Jesus, I should have just pitched that up though. Chip shots, just as important. Thank you. Shoot, I'll walk out with a par after that. And this is going to stay a two-shot lead. Let's get three shots. The closing hole on the front side here at Olympia Field. Yes, I am, Mitch. Yard par four nine. Bunkers are the name of the that game. was the next up uh, upgrade, whatever you want to call it, difficulty increase. Man, this is going to... Hmm. Oh, this will be awkward. So from the rock is second at nine. Get that over with. Yeah, thank you, Mitch. Needed that. Needed that, needed that, needed that. That will be a sizzling 31 on the front side, four under par. The backside here at Olympia Fields begins with a par 4 tenth at 444 yards. The best drive here will carry the left side bunker. If that's accomplished, it should leave a clear approach to an elevated green.
going to be that far. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. What's a green light situation from that distance and you know, far from the best shot I've seen today. There we go. There, down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And the lead is up to four now here on these final nine holes. The par four eleventh is a dang is right, Mitch. It might seem at first blush. From the tee, the landing area appears to be a wide one, but it does dog like slightly to the left, which causes many players to run their tee shots through. Yeah, a drummer, I, I do have to wake up an hour earlier. It's so waking up at 5 tomorrow, so ending a little earlier. It's getting close to that closing time anyway, but yeah, it's going to be baseball tomorrow, I think. I feel like that call is coming, you know? Maybe it's not. <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Hope it's coming. So this is a pitch. Good thing I caught that. Damn it. And Friday we'll be here not in the nighttime. We will be here 5 p.m. Eastern Standard or probably earlier, maybe earlier. Be sure you set those alarm or those alarms, alerts, alarms, whatever. It could be on as soon as 4 Eastern Standard, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. But yeah, we'll be on more mid to late afternoon. And usually go for a few hours on Friday, so we should be able to get a good amount of baseball in. Hopefully enough baseball to get to the Cubs. We'll see. Now to the 12th at 389 yards of par 4. This is not a hole for the Bombers as Butterfield Creek bisects the fairway. It's also not one to be wayward on off the tee as the tree canopies and trunks often force punch outs and layups and shots straight from the fairway. Knew that was going to happen. There was hardly anything. To, I mean, if we even if we try to fade it, the wind's just going to it's going to go and it's just going to take it. That's a tough hole. That is a tough hole. Great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Not on that one. Uh, come on, we need some insurance birds. That one is so 
for one. Near to call, near 12. He's going to hold on to that three shot lead. The 13th is a 168 yard par three. It is the number 18 handicap, but that doesn't mean it's not without its share of peril. Bunkers protect the green short and right, while thick trees and bushes cause big problems for anything pulled offline to the left. Obviously, well struck, but can a little too hot. Mm. He's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie putt than he would have hoped for. Flattened out after that initial right to left. Ronnie, I appreciate the follow. Thank you. And this will remain a three shot lead. The 14th is a difficult one, a par four at 450 yards. A tee shot from an elevated tee leads to a fairway in a valley 30 feet below. Any miss left brings trees into play. Any miss right could be worse, with Butterfield Creek snaking its way down the right side before crossing the ferry further up. Stu Pisasso, it's it's a learning it's oh my god, I mean what you're seeing right now probably started in like how this setup is like maybe January, February, maybe. But before that, like I mean, I had to build this account up. I had to get, I couldn't go live. I couldn't do anything. I had to like repost videos and stuff of like other people's content. I gave them credit for it, but just like to get the thing rolling. And then yeah, I started pointing this damn phone at my screen, and like you know, with that, then I finally got in with a. Uh, an agency that hooked me up with how to get a stream key because I work off of a Mac, a MacBook, and so you need a stream key for that. Just kind of how it's just it works out, and but it was so much that went into it, such a learning op like curve and opportunity. Learned so much. Uh, never get did. A, I mean, keep kept pushing through with a lot of very frustrating times to get to where we're at today. And I mean, we're still up and coming. We're still growing. We're still. You know, we're, we're doing fairly well with what we've had so far, but it's not been easy. It's not been easy. Like, you know, I didn't know how to do any of this, and I had to learn YouTube videos. I mean, buy something from Amazon, see that it's not working, send it back, you know, wait. I mean, it's just, it was, it was quite a bit, but it was every bit worth it. And it's still, I mean, it's just, it's so automatic now. It's like, I, I mean... It's not anything for me to make content. It's not anything for me to like jump on here. But before, you know, when I was learning, you know, it was it was quite a bit. You know, a lot of people would give up at a lot of points, but you just gotta stick with it and learn. I don't know, Mitch. I mean, I, I love what I do. I do. This will be a just you know love this to be like a you know passive stream of income you know make these lives get you know gift subscriptions and then make content you know i'm monetized on tiktok so i get money for content you know when it hits certain criteria and stuff which has been great and you know all that just i mean it's it's been a labor of love but it's been a it's been a lot of learning I love doing this stuff and you know it all started basically you know I was sitting where you guys were at watching people and it's like man, I could be more entertaining than these guys I could put out a better product than these guys you know I love playing video games a lot I love having people hang out and 
Yeah, so that's what started it. Then I finally, you know, do you think about doing it forever? And then you just finally like, you know, fuck it, let's go. It's been fun, and we're not going to slow down, and, you know, we're turning this into, we got merchandise, Dr. Dirty Beard Gaming, go to drdirtybeard.com, check out the merchandise, I mean, subscriptions, all that stuff, just ways to just, anything you see that, you know, any link that you see, you know, learn through affiliate marketing, through legendary marketing, or marketer, that's what started all of this, learning how to do all that stuff, and then I just kind of took what they learned, or taught me, and just turned it into my own product, and my own thing and that's kind of how we that's kind of how the whole marketing and all of it kind of got snowballed it's do it's it's a lot to learn but when you get here it's like i just come in i just boom it's but i had no idea how to do any of this anything i didn't know like i had to get a capture card i mean it, with what i have you know it's it's not it wasn't easy for me to it didn't just come to me you know, I worked for it, but I wanted it. You know, you want something, you're going to go after it. Always have, always will. Anything I set my mind to, I go and I get it. So. Yeah, Stu, it's just, you know, I, I learn to I just open up. And the whole thing is make passive income, and I am. I am. I'm making money when I sleep at this. You know, I got people, you know, my, my YouTube, my short, I'm almost a monetization status. I'm getting close to monetization status on YouTube, which is great. Getting, uh, you know, picking up quite a, you know, a bit of momentum on that one, which has been awesome. But, you know, a lot of, 99% of people would just give up. I don't fucking give up on anything, man. I don't. It's just in my blood. A lot of people would give up, and a lot of people do. But I see the ones out there that are, you know, still not getting many viewers that are still doing it, still trying. And I, you know, it's it's not easy, man. We're all competing in this for the same pie. There's a lot of people out there that's doing this. You just gotta find one that you like to watch. You know, I found people that I like to watch. Motivated me to just give this a shot. Yeah, I would. Yeah, and then the you know, thing about it, I mean, anything, I'm an LLC. I mean, I am an LLC under my parent company that I started. You know, it's stationed out of Vegas. I don't live in Vegas. I'm an online business, and the best states to have online business LLCs are Vegas and Wyoming. So I buy video games. I buy any th controllers, my chair, everything that you see. Merch, it's all tax write-off. It all goes against the bottom line. So utilizing my love and passion, things that I love to do for a passive income, but also <laughs> gets, it's business now. It's business expense now, which is awesome. It's like I you know, buy a game, bought this game, bought other games off PlayStation Plus or whatever. Oh, this is a pitch. What am I doing? I'm really going to hurt myself if I do that. But it's, yeah, it goes right into the receipts. It's tax write-off. Controllers, I mean, tax right off. The green fees would be a tax write off, too, because I would, you know, record Dr. Dirty Beard coming to you live from Olympia Fields here, where I play the BMW and hope. Not going to jinx myself, but yeah, that could be a green fee. I mean, that could be a tax write off, too. And it, you know, like it all goes against even my, my, my income that I make with my career as a chiropractor. Entrepreneurship along the way. I mean, it's it's fun stuff, man. I, I do enjoy it, but I will say it was a lot of work. It is a lot, still is a lot of work. I already put that up. Mental health therapist, Stu, my wife is as well. She's a therapist for child and uh, kids and families. She's also ventured into couples. LCPC. 
Butterfield Creek. It's her uh, licensure. An appearance short and right of the hole. But of greater concern, those bunkers short right and left. Going long leads to issues as well, as balls can wind up well below the putting surface. Knock it down, wind. You're also LCMHC, Licensed Clinical Mental Health Counselor, I'm assuming is what that means. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, I mean, like, if I went to a greens fee, and as long as I pick my phone up, Dr. Dirty Beard coming to you live from so-and-so, that receipt for that green fee goes right into the business expenses. That's all it takes. Could even be talking about my channel with my friend, you know, that I'm playing with, and that would be a, going to the, you know, hey, I was thinking about doing some of this content with this goal, you know, it's like, hey, we should do a, talk about it, it is. Discuss it. It is. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me and my wife have gone out and, you know, had lunch and, yeah, talk about the con talk about things with business, her business. She puts her receipt, you know, if it's, she pays or I pay, it goes into our business, goes into our stuff. Stu, start him young. That's something I wish I had. Good for you. I mean, getting your. That's something you guys can play forever, you know. Unless you're, you know, you're back. You know, really get injured or something. And you really can't play. But that's a sport that you can play for a long time. And I wish I would have picked it up earlier. Probably be a lot more enjoyable nowadays if I did. It's not just about length. It's about putting the ball in the right position. And that's what he's done. Really a good opportunity to make a birdie. Let's see what he can do from 87 yards. Second shot. This is straight at it. That's a really good ball. Hey, make them work in your favor. God knows they steal plenty of money from us. God, if I could, you know, get to a point where, you know, all my, you know, mortgage, debt, stuff like that paid off, you know, and be able to just completely not pay taxes and just pick, I don't even care if it's like a percentage, like making up five, happy, happy, give these, give these uh, taxes, right, you know, donations to charities and stuff, not let, do everything I can to not let them get it. That's where I'm at. All right, guys. just one hole remaining. The closing hole here at Olympia Fields is a par four at a challenging 510 yards. This hole bends right to left. Yeah, I got goals with this channel, and you know I've got a lot of things I want to do, and I enjoy doing this and. It's making me money, and it's a lot of fun. And just remember, guys, whether it's followers, money, anything, all millions, start there. All creators, all everyone you've ever seen, all anyone, they all started with zero dollars and zero followers. The one thing that is kept in common... They all have in common is they started, and the next thing they have in common, they did not give up. And the third stayed consistent. And people get so like, oh my god, my first few videos didn't do jack squat. Well, no shit, so did the millions of other people.
but then how many 99% of them quit? You gonna quit? That's why they don't do shit. I mean, that's, I mean, people have been programmed to not, I mean, people have been programmed to be soft. I, I, I'm not one who is. But, you know, people give up. People think things are hard and don't want to do them. People get complacent. Not me, not I. Day to you, I appreciate the likes again. Final round, ooh. And I saw you with the sub early. I think you disappeared for a while. Saw you hit the sub subscription, which I truly appreciate. Thank you, thank you, day you. Arthur, what's up, dude? You want to watch Daddy win this? Stu, I appreciate those likes. Definitely not enough. Feet away. There it is. The BMW is ours. That was a hell of a tournament. Close, one by three. Spectacular round of golf. Excellent. Our featured golfer You want to say bye? With a dominating performance, Frank, to win it going away. You want to say bye? All right, guys. It's been a wonderful, wonderful night with you guys. We have one more tournament.